Понял, под моим управлением. Наблюдаю у вас 292. Hello guys, once again, it's Matt, and today we're going to check it out the F105, the the Thunder Chief or, or the Tud, uh, a new bomber added to War Thunder, uh, top tier um, 9.7 BR for the US. So pretty cool aircraft, pretty well known aircraft. Uh, it kind of has a infamous name to it because it was shot down a lot and it, it crashed a lot on the Vietnam War but still a, an amazing aircraft pretty cool uh, the design is pretty amazing so as you see and yeah pretty nice uh, we have two skins for it as you see pretty cool you can get it by kills and yeah just uh, before I forget <laughs> I forget uh, make sure to subscribe so I keep keep making this type of content and keep improving the channel um, make sure to click the like button and leave it in the comments what else you want to see and of course i want to create a discord once i hit a, fi a 500 subscribers so if you want to see that leave it in the comments as well so yeah pr but pretty good <coughs> pretty good aircraft in general uh, but yeah as you see it has a radar pretty old radar basically just an aiming radar uh, reticle aiming radar uh, but it, it have a it does have a, a search mode uh, but the lock system is just uh, kind of the same as a, a saber or super saber uh, here's the Vulcan of course uh, a thousand ammo uh, bullets you know uh, he has the J75 engine with 11 uh, 110 kilonewtons pretty strong engine uh, one of the stronger engines in the a single engine aircraft in the game so but yeah but the main thing is of course the payload so i'm finishing up it uh of course it has a ton of weapons uh, as you see has guided weapons bombs and stuff you can take the the mark 82s the 117s the mark 83s 84s and the mark 118 which is a 3000 pound bomb pretty crazy bomb actually let me show to you guys uh, but yeah pretty pretty large bomb <laughs> as you see uh, but yeah it's a thousand I think it's a, a thousand pounds of a thousand kilos of uh, TNT equivalent so pretty interesting uh, but yeah the best loadout that I'm using currently is the 16s uh, M117s or the 14s with the 4 aim, aim 9s uh, just because you can actually destroy a lot of you know uh, bombing targets instead of just a couple uh, I mean instead of just one you can actually take two so if you take this I mean if this this is the most tonnage that you can take I think uh, but still you're not taking that much uh, to destroy two bases because the both the demolition bombs they drop simultaneously so you kind of lose the point of using them uh, but yeah you have chefs of course but you have to choose between the pod or the the missiles uh, normally I don't use it because you know you're not facing a lot of radar guided missiles in here and it doesn't have uh, flares or anything like that it just have the chef so yeah it doesn't matter that much it's more for like um, SAM sites and stuff like that in the Vietnam War uh, but yeah, you can take some rockets as well and the bullpups the B and the C <coughs> I kind of have a weird voice today because I uh, kind of moving apartments right now and it takes a lot of you <laughs> but yeah and of course uh, then the normal loadout that I'm taking uh, normally 14 bombs of the 117 together with four M9s the M9E uh, and the air target ammo uh, as well if you want to you can take the armored ones it's not that bad uh, both are very good the default one is also pretty pretty okay so actually I'm going to use the default one but yeah pretty pretty cool aircraft in general F pretty fast as you're going to see but yeah let's get into some battles and I see you guys in a bit so here we are in the Vietnam map pretty cool map in general as you see I'm not gonna use afterburners because it's uh, the largest one of the largest maps it's like 130 kilometers if I'm not mistaken 
but yeah, it's the new AC maps. Uh, tell me in the comments what else, uh, what you're thinking about this type of uh, map. But yeah, pretty interesting, right? <laughs> that we have the Vietnam map right now and we are using the Thunder Chief. Kind of lucky, but yeah. So yeah, pretty cool aircraft in general. As you see, the cockpit is pretty cool. Uh, very fast aircraft, as you see. I'm gaining speed still with the... I'm mean losing speed actually a little bit, but I have the all the bombs and stuff. Mac basically 0.9 uh, with the with the normal military power so yeah pretty interesting but yeah let's try to let's try to get that base and come on F105 go to the other one but yeah pretty interesting right yeah, since that guy doesn't care about anything, he's going to that base and going to change targets. But yeah, with eight bombs, you can actually destroy one of these bases. So let's choose uh, there. And I mean, this aircraft has a a, a bomb a bomb uh, bomb bay, but I don't know why we don't use the bomb bay with the bombs. Uh, I don't know. Why exactly? Maybe it's because it's used for nuclear bombs or something. Uh, if you know, let me let me know in the comments. A pretty interesting layout if you have the bomb load and not use the bombs inside the the bomb bay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as you see, we are passing Mac One pretty easily with the afterburner, it's with the bombs and stuff. Without the bombs, you can take I mean, can go to Mac One Point Two or something. So pretty strong in general. We are approaching the target. No enemies nearby. We have an RWR as well. As you see, the radar is like similar to the F104A, which has a search mode, but the the acquire mode kind of doesn't exist. It's just a, a ranging radar for the the gun sight. So approaching the target. It doesn't have this CRP, which is kind of weird. I thought it would have. Uh, the laps, but it doesn't. I cut, let's cut the afterburner. But we are going to use the CCIP. Eight bombs. Pico. Let's get out of here. So we don't see anybody uh, here. Let's save some fuel. Let's see if the other guy is going to actually be able to to make the drop I'm going to attack these bots even though it's not the best um, it's one way to win the battle match and I missed <laughs> not used to this this layout of can yeah he destroyed that yeah but I'm going to I'm going to use it as an uh, attack a strike aircraft basically but uh, next match I can use it as a fighter still pretty good fighter uh, but um, the main objective in the Vietnam war was to use it as a bomber but yeah let's lose some speed dive it down pickle 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 let's see yeah, all the targets hit. Let's try to finish this column of enemies. But as you see, it's a pretty pretty good attack aircraft, especially at 9.7. You probably can use it on ground RB as well as a pretty effective weapon in general. Let's try to destroy this AA system. The system is down. Let's try to finish up with the with the cannon, and then probably RTB. My team is basically dead, but we can win this by just hiding and killing every ground vehicle and aircraft. It's just it, it's kind of a, a dick move, but <laughs> what else you can do? 
Okay, another Bradley. Maybe I should have bring uh, more bombs. Uh, you can take two more bombs instead of the four missiles, uh, but I just think that the missiles sometimes it's just better to have. But I don't know. We have an APC there, which is kind of easy to destroy, I think. Oh, come on. I didn't die. Jesus, how m many people are there? It does have a, ca uh, an, a cannon ballistic computer, but I, I kind of don't like to use it. Just like to to actually use the normal bullet drop and just get used to the cannon. Let's try to kill this Z103. Yes, here you go boys, the column is destroyed, objective is complete, let's try to RTB and get more bombs, maybe win by t t tickets, but I don't think so, I think we're going to lose, but yeah, be right back. But yeah guys, but yeah, I'm just gonna actually... Just keep talking to you guys. Uh, maybe do this, make this video like uh, just a EC map type of thing. Uh, but this aircraft is pretty amazing. Uh, I really enjoy this type of fighter bomber aircraft. Uh, you can use it both as a fighter and as a bomber. So it can be kind of OP. This if it gets to a down tier. Uh, basically, I, I tried in a 8.7 match that I got in. And I just killed like seven people, uh, MiG 15s and stuff. So it can be very OP. Uh, probably we'll have the BR raised in a little while, like to 10.0 probably. Uh, so keep an eye out and just try to get it before that because it's a very cool aircraft. It's very, very fast. It is worth it to get. Uh, I mean, it's just a very capable aircraft. Look, look at the speed that I am. Uh, so yeah, let's try to destroy these F-104s before. Yeah, I have to say some few actually, but let's try to destroy the these F-104s. It will help me. I think that's a. I think that's an uh, uh, an enemy aircraft, a player. Or not? I don't know. Probably not. I think it's an F-104. The thing is, I have to say few. I don't know why it's not spotting that guy. I mean, look at this. This is 10 kilometers. This is just like... 10 miles would be like to the base, for example. Pretty... Pretty good, right? I mean, I love these maps. Big maps like this. I, I understand why people don't like it, but... You know, man, just come on. It's, it's a more realistic map. I mean, just the way that it works. Uh, it's way more realistic than the other maps. I don't think that should be... All maps should be like this, but... They should increase a little bit of the... Of the... Of the... the, the chances of this map getting into... Into the matchmaking. So, let's try to get that. Come on. It's pretty f slow. Yeah. Four kilometers. I got I got to RTB. Yeah, I think that's an, a player maybe. I don't know. Always check your six. And you can make a lot of money using this. Actually, it's pretty good. Bombers in general are pretty amazing. You have to think that. Of course, if you use this as, as a strike weapon, you're going to get more points, uh, but still very good to use as a fighter as well. Let's see. I have to play simulator battles, man. Especially with this type of aircraft, they're very useful and very fun to, to play. 
I'm planning to make another video, uh, more videos on this. Let's try to get this uh, last ton of funnel 4. Then I'm going to RTB because of the fuel. Here you go. Probably going to get it. Yes. There's just a couple more there, but uh, they're too far away. 10, 20 kilometers. I don't have the fuel. That's RTB, people. But as you see, I mean, for my, in my opinion, you just need to actually, I mean, spread. I mean, you see this type of column of enemies and, and friendlies. I think that uh, they should uh, spread a little bit more to the map in general. More on this area, not not too much in here, but more on this area on the front line, and probably more bases spread around this as well. Make this less susceptible to to actual uh, objectives like this because the match we went too soon, maybe sometimes, and increase a little bit of the time. Uh, but it could be a very good and very fun way to just, I mean. You're going to have the normal matches, but this type of matches is just to you, to you to kind of spread your wings a little bit and fly around, uh, destroy some bases, uh, intercept some targets, make make a cap mission. Uh, maybe they, I don't know, should make a route for you to follow if you're a fighter. And if you follow and don't find anything, uh, it doesn't matter because you're going to get some points because you made the mission of a cap you know a combat air patrol so they could use this type of large maps to do this type of things they just need to have a, a little bit of faith in the player base uh, because a lot of people don't like this type of maps big maps but I a lot of people do so yeah you can have a mix between them you know yeah they're killing a lot of our our bots we need to if you're going to win this we need to Get there quickly. Here you go. So we took off another bomb load, another missile load. Uh, let's try to. Um, maybe pass right here to actually help them conquer this space and then after that i go to the base uh just to try to make sure that we win this uh, as you see we have eight minutes and we are winning in tickets so what that means is we can actually win this battle if i stay alive because i'm the last one the last guy just died but yeah let's try to fly low try to go to the oh yeah he bombed that base I oh, know it's not the other base yeah so let's go this way let's put uh, be the best so that nobody actually uses a blind hunt it's one of the strategies and let's just try to hide it out guys because this is what we kind of need to do uh, of course Simulator battles, I'm going to do some videos on it in January, so keep an eye out, uh, but just, I mean, this could be a thing in just a normal mode, actually, I mean, look at this, I mean, I find it, I find it funny, I, I find it uh, very entertaining, so I don't know, guys, for you guys, it's the inter enduring confrontation, but not taking that much long, not taking three hours of a battle, so, yeah. But still, what, what do you think about this? Leave it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to help me out. Trying to reach a thousand subscribers. First, I, I want to reach uh, 500. Maybe before the end of the year. But I don't know. Just two weeks. <laughs> yeah, shit. Come on. Go away. Yeah, I have to drop my bomb load. Yeah, they found me. So I have to turn before they... 
before they actually it's the SMT so it's a very dangerous one you can turn a lot more than me so I'm probably dead where is it oh two guys oh come on people two of you how did you find me I was just flying really low I think they were very lucky yeah not not today man not this type of missile Probably gonna die for for the Mirage. Oh come on! Yeah, as you see, it's not a great aircraft to actually. Uh, oh come on! Yeah, I was afraid of hitting the ground. But yeah, almost, guys. If I stayed alive, I probably we probably would would win. But yeah. But. <laughs> But yeah, what what do you think, guys? I mean, is this a mode that you want to see more in One Thunder or anything like that? Uh, but yeah, I th I found it pretty cool. Uh, even if you are alone, you have a chance of winning. That's th probably the main part that I, I like. It's just that you can actually. I know it's kind of boring for people trying to find other people, but if you have uh, more objectives, uh, there is some tweaking around this. But if you have more uh, objectives here. Even if you don't find somebody, you can actually complete the objectives to actually win the match. So, a lot of interceptors to, to destroy, bombers, uh, ground targets, bombing targets, anything like that. Uh, they probably should add, like, bridges that you can destroy, or any object, more objectives, you know, in general. And just a little bit more of time in there, and you can actually do, you know, just a, you can actually do s this type of of thing you know I, I personally love this type of map so yeah but yeah guys this is it uh, make sure to subscribe click the like button leave it in the comments what you think about this mode and this aircraft probably gonna make more videos on the F105 uh, but just to check around a little bit of it uh, use it as a bomber uh, because it is a bomber and you get more, po more points on it uh, but you can also use it as a fighter it's not the greatest fighter ever as you saw, I cannot outturn anything. Probably uh, an F104, but nothing else like that. But yeah, this is it, guys. So we won, guys. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, the time just ran out uh, before the tickets went out for not having a lot of people on the other side. So pretty, pretty interesting. As you see, a lot of points. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool, guys. See ya.